Hello everyone, welcome to AKP's Classroom. Today I am going to explore Node Ray dashboard for IoT projects. For this, I am using one Node NC board, one DST11 sensor, and one LED. Here in this diagram, the sensor node represents DST22, but I am using DST11. So let's connect all the components together. In DST11, we have three pins the ground pin connected with the ground of Node NCU. Next, the data pin connected with the T1 of Node NCU. Next, the VCC connected with the 3 volt pin of Node NCU. Next, the LED. So, connect the ground of Node NCU with the LED negative and the positive pin of LED connected with the D2 of Node NCU. So, this is the simple circuit uh, configuration for this project. So, first, let's install the node read dashboard for that right hand menu manage valid and install dashboard in my system it's already installed so that's why uh, i don't have to install it again fine now let's explore all the nodes available in node read dashboard so these are the nodes available and from the list i am going to pick switch node for controlling the led on and off fine Next, I am going to pick the chart for uh, displaying the temperature and next gauze for visualizing the humidity data. So these are the three nodes uh, I am going to utilize for uh, visualizing the data. Uh, okay. Next, uh, we have to pick the protocol uh, through which we are going to get the data. So in this project, actually, uh, I am using MQTT protocol. So let's find out the MQTT nodes. Those are available in Flow Editor. So two nodes are available, one for subscribing and another for publishing. So uh, if we want to uh, receive some data from MQTT clients, what we have to do, we have to subscribe the topic. So here in this case, actually, we want to receive the sensor data from node NCU. So that means we have to subscribe the data from node NCU. So that's why this is the subscribe node. So we have to connect the subscribe node uh, with the chart and gauze for getting data from node NCU. So this is the subscribe node. Fine. So let's configure the subscribe node. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, configure the server first. And uh, here we have to uh, put the server IP. In my system, I am running the Mosquito MQTT server locally. So that's why the IP address is 127.0.0.1 and port address 1883. So if you are using any public MQTT server, you can use that specific URL or the IP on which the server is running. So this is the server configuration. Next, we have to uh, put the topic, the topic on which uh, the client is uh, publishing the data. So uh, here uh, for temperature, actually, the topic is uh, temperature and uh, for humidity, we are going to put the topic humidity. So this is the topic for getting the, uh, for subscribing the temperature data from Node NCU. So this all done. So let's put the name as temp okay fine so now the mqtt subscribe node is ready okay fine so let's uh connect the temperature uh mqtt subscribe node to chart fine so next uh we need another uh mqtt subscribe node uh for humidity data so let's pick another MQTT subscribe node from the flow editor. Okay, fine. So, yes, next again, we have to configure this uh, subscribe node. So, server is already set. We don't have to do it again. Uh, now, topic. Topic is important because uh, through this topic, actually, the server, is, uh, server will get the data from uh, node MCU client. So, here it is humidity. Fine. Next, let's connect the humidity subscribe node with gauze so let's uh, configure the chart first now for this uh yes temperature it's fine now uh 
y axis value uh, so you can give uh, the value as for the data or as for the uh, input parameter so let's put 1 and 100 okay so we can choose any color for this fine next uh, name for okay so it's temperature and it's done so and uh, the unit for x x axis so it's say one minute or we can put it as say five minutes interval so that's it now uh, this uh, node is ready next again uh, we are going to give the max value 100 for humidity and let's put some value in name for this purpose okay now both the nodes are ready temperature and humidity both both are ready next uh we are going to uh configure the switch okay now for this uh we are going to uh publish okay and uh, the client will subscribe so for that uh this is the mqtt node for publish okay so let's uh, put the mqtt publish node and uh yes so here also uh the server is already set up so let's put the topic and here it's led so let's put the name for this subscribe uh, a publish node yeah so now uh, let's uh, connect uh, this part okay and uh, switch also now we have to modify uh, this switch option so uh, okay we are going to uh, put this on so because when the payload will be on the led will be on and uh, for off it will be off so these are the things now fine uh now the switch is also configured so uh this is the configuration for uh controlling the node into led at the same time uh for getting the sensor values from the uh node into boot so after successful uh, deployment of the flows uh you can visualize that uh the nodes are connected and uh, here the MQTT uh, protocol nodes are successfully uh, connected so let's uh, visualize the dashboard web dashboard of our node rate so uh, for that we have to use the url uh, 127.0.0.1 uh, colon 1880 port number slash ui so right now uh, we can visualize the data through chart and gauze okay so this is the humidity value and this is the temperature value so we can also control the led so uh let's uh, switch on the camera to find out uh, if we can uh, visualize the uh, now uh, you can visualize that the led is on as uh, the switch is on so let's switch it off so it's off again uh, yes so the led is right now on and if i uh, turn off the switch automatically the led will be off so this is the simple configuration uh, we have to uh, do in node rate flow editor to have a web dashboard uh, like this to visualize the data uh, that is coming from uh, iot devices at the same time we can control uh, activities uh, through this web dashboard also like led on open other activities that's it thank you